Hello pilots and welcome back to another X-Wing flight video brought to you by Out of Art Gaming. As always, my name is Phil and today we have a 20 point game with one standard list and one extended list because I wanted to bring a ship I haven't flown in a very long time. But before we get into those lists, joining us for this we have... James, here to help out with the commentary as usual I guess again and we're always happy to have you back uh two factions that you don't play but i don't, I don't always... play but i play against quite a bit yeah so it's quite nice to see them in action give you a bit of a potential idea of how they might fly against you yeah even if they're not ships i plan to use knowing the sorts of things that they can do is very useful absolutely well let's break down those lists so on the left we actually have myself and I am running a munitions heavy list. I've got Redline in the TIE Punisher with fire control system, advanced proton torpedoes, cluster missiles, proton rockets, and munition failsafe. I have four bombers with Tomax Bren, who's got marksmanship, cluster missiles, skill bombardier, and seismic charges. Captain Jonas with marksmanship, cluster missiles, and thermal detonators. Major Rhymer with marksmanship, proton rockets and seismic charges and Deathfire with cluster missiles, skill bombardier and thermal detonators. That's, that's a lot of stuff. It, it's a lot of stuff and I ran out of charges so I had to start using force tokens as charges. Oh, right, okay. So it, it was a bit crazy and um, yes those are K-turns that I've just done there. I mean, when you've got bombs, you do want the rear facing enemy. It's a bit early. But speaking of the enemy, you are up against Ben with his first order list. He is running Midnight with Predator and Crackshot, Quickdraw with Fanatical, Special Forces Gunner, Fire Control System, and a Shield Upgrade, Commander Malarus with Cluster Missiles, Kylo Ren in the Whisper with Malice, Instinctive Aim, Predator, Concussion Missiles, and the Enhanced Jamming Suite. And rounding off Ben's list is Lieutenant LeHughes, I think it's how it's said, with Proud Tradition, Pass Analyzer, and Special Forces Gunner. Very high initiative list, that. Two sixes, three fives, and that fits in 20 points. It's just mental. Also, it's, crazy. it's high initiative, but also not entirely like frail like yes they are kind of ace sort of ships and they don't have the highest health pools but they're not fragile yeah and i mean when you look at those ships midnight can be brutal if he locks you no modifications for you at all quick draw if you strip a shield will just take another shot malarus's ability uh, flip your charge, gain a stress token, and then you basically get like perma focus. Um, kind of red in the whisper, he's got three force and he can jam you. And the hoose as well, another Tyus effort, initiative five. It, it's kind of scary to come up against these. Yeah, because your highest are Redline and Tomax Bren, who are both fives. Yes. So there could be some interesting stuff that happens with the road rolls. Road is going to be kind of important, um, especially at that I-5 step, because if I'm wanting to get any target locks, it'll be nice for Ben to get Road so I know where he's going to be. Um, it, it's going to be quite a trick one, but we do actually have a shot Ooh. in the first turn. So Ben's just putting those tokens back so he, so he can actually use them, although mid uh, quick draw who has the shot didn't have any tokens unfortunately no dice can today so the dice will be on the table but that is two hits from quick draw on That's to quick draw. Jonas Jonas okay and one hull of Jonas no shields on those bombers which is a bit of a shame now you got a lot of bombers and you got a lot of rockets and missiles and what have you what what made you choose these particular upgrades? Was it just a case of like how the points worked? How did you do? You sort of have like a a hierarchy of the bombs you want to use. It's like okay, I can't fit these ones. I'll downgrade to this specific one. Or is it just a case of let's just try different things? 
A little bit of both. I mean, thermal detonators I absolutely love. I think it's great just to be able to fire two bombs out, especially when you couple that with a skilled bombardier um, and the nimble bomber as well. It's just well, absolutely Which is coming hilarious. to play here, right? Which is coming to play here, although I am just about to realise that skilled bombardier is not on Jonas. But yeah, nimble bomber being able to use that bank template instead. Because with just the... Kind of the same way is you could presumably curve one and not curve the other? You could curve one, not curve the other, or curve the other one the other way. Oh, that's true. But they so, do still have to be different speeds, right? They do both. Have, one okay. has to be one, one has to be two. If you're using skill bombardier, you can have one at one, two, or three, but then the other one at one of the other two that you didn't use. I mean, that's so, still very good. Yeah, it's still good fun. Um, and that is Rhymer looking to drop his seismic, just debating which way to go. Um, but yeah, basically it was a case of, I'm, I love the fact that bomb Bombers are now actually back in standard, although this is an extended list with Punisher in it. And I went, I've got four of them, I'd kind of like to fly them and just have a bit of fun with it, really. I know there's better variations of the bomber list there's the saturation salvo barrage rockets combo that's out there which does look very good um but i just i like marksmanship i think it's one of my favorite um talents it's really good for bullseye and cluster missiles can be really good against like swarms and mini swarms yeah i feel like cluster missiles are getting used quite a bit more now that the lists are using more ships in them it makes like it you're like, more likely to pull off a a shot with the cross missile and have another viable shot. Whereas when the lists were maybe three or four ships, that wasn't happening enough to warrant really taking cluster missiles. Yeah, and another one that works quite well there that Ben has got is concussion missiles as well. So they they they're two good ones against swarm heavy lists because they can cause damage to more than one ship at a time and. If you're at, a, especially if you're at a tournament and you've got a 75 minute game going, the more damage you can put out quickly, the better things are going to go for you. Yeah. So, I mean, so you've thrown down six bomb tokens. So two sets of thermal detonators and two seismic charges. The seismic, the thermal detonators are, are actually the thermal detonator tokens. The seismic charge ones are the other two. I just couldn't locate all of my bomb tokens. I mean, they're all the same place, as long as you and your opponent are understanding of which one is which, then that's fine. Yeah. And again, um, me, and, me and Ben have played so often that it's... We know exactly... We know, we just cl we clarify with each other quite quickly and we just get on with it, so that's quite nice. Now, I'm sure it comes down to the points available, but there's no... Um, no, was it delayed fuses? I don't tend to use delayed fuses. I I can see a benefit for them. Obviously, stopping that bomb or mine from detonating because of it has a, is a good like area denial thing. But I don't tend to use it very often. It's something I've, like, I have you're to really close enough that it's like I just want it to go off as soon as I can, sort of thing. Yeah, because. I would almost find the risk of if I did use delayed fuses that that's the I'd pick the wrong time to do it. It's yeah, my issue. I don't think I've ever used them to be honest. I, I think I, I think the only time you really want to is when you have a pilot whose ability is like if the opponent is near a bomb, which kind of makes you want to leave or a device leave a device on the board for an extra turn or two. So it's um. I can't remember who there, there is. There's, there there's is a, a few. There's like a, that. Yeah, there's there's a gunner I think for that on the first order. There's like feedback array, or feedback ping array, or something where if they're at range zero to one of an obstacle, you can get a lock on them. Um, I know that with um, Captain Nim, he can actually use a, a bomb can count as an obstacle to like so because an obstructed shot. Uh, he is on scum. Unfortunately, yeah, lost he lost him for rebels. rebels. Yeah, I did have him. I think I sold him to someone. Yeah, I mean, he, he was for both back in the day. But mm -hmm. yeah, on Scum, he's really good. And he he has like an inbuilt sort of like 
I can choose if I want to delay fuse oh, or not, which yeah. is quite nice. That is pretty good, actually. Yeah, but there we go. That's I'm not I'm not too disappointed with that position right there of where. Uh, but you are. You know, you've deployed your bombs, which I do like. But you're facing kind of the wrong way, and you're stressed. With that is a bit of a downside. Because um, I'm. They don't have the best blues, do they? No, they don't have the best blues. It's like the one, one and two straight. Uh, one, two, and three straight are the two banks on them. Yeah. So they're not the best ship for maneuvering at that stage. But I'm. It's almost like what I kind of want to do is get some early damage in with bombs. Have a sort and then of like turn around a bit and of a, pick off what's left. Yeah. Okay. And, and have a bit of threat of it happening again. So, because I know that with Ben, he can play quite aggressive and likes to I get mean, in quickly. I mean, we were shot from Ben in the first round. Yeah. So that's you know, the fastest you can go, really, to, to get that to happen. Absolutely. So that's, that's Redline moving now. So he was yeah. the reason you wanted to be like, oh, I'll play an extended list because I want to fly a Punisher. Why yeah. Why Redline? So I like Redline's double lock ability. So Redline can um, maintain two locks. Also, after you perform a target lock action, you may acquire a lock. So you can actually get right, he's two. Got a, was it like a built-in R3 astromech? Yeah, built-in R3 astromech. And you can you can load them out quite heavily. I mean, yeah, I've got yeah. a lot of munitions on there, and I know that I'm probably not going to use them all. But unlike in that original 2.0, where it's like, oh, you've got 200 points, and everything right, you want yeah. to make up that. Got, well, I'm looking at 25 points of loadout. So, well, you might as well fill them up with as many different options as you can. Yeah, and I mean, I could have swapped out one of those for a bomb or mine as well and we'll see by the end of the game whether that could have been a better option for me but again I just I really wanted to fly the Punisher because it's been so long but he is seven points he's okay. very expensive well let's so, see if it can pay off yeah well there is a seismic charge that clips Malarus so that's Malarus's shield down nice uh, and the shield down on midnight as well. Good start okay, for the side. Not quite reaching quick draw though. No. Sure ben and, was being careful of that anyway. Yeah. And the thermal deck does nothing on man. It's all, gives him a strain, but not damage. And not, I th yeah. think just out for those ones, unfortunately. But it meant that Ben wasn't going to boost in and barrel roll in and try and get that little bit closer. So. Kinda did the right thing for me. But Ben is closer to more objectives. I don't know if Kylo's yeah. close enough to capture that one down there, but No, the yeah, barrel he did away actually got him just out of range one of that, so Yeah, I saw him doing that. I was like, oh okay. He wants to play it safe. As he actually did that barrel, he was just like, Oh, I should have done that. He was like, Oh well, I I've committed to it now and if Again. it comes down to like a one point difference, then maybe that yeah. was the mistake. But oh well. Well, to be honest, Ben was his, Ben was running this list. He's been running it for a while. It's his practice list for the recent Welsh Open that was just held. So he was trying to be as strict with himself as possible. He's like, if I if I've already done it or I've yeah. already dialed it in, I I've got to go from there because he was just trying to make sure that he was being as Right, it's not just Ooh, list practice, problem. it's tournament sort of etiquette practice yes. sort of thing. Okay. So he was very much like trying to keep in that mindset and I mean there were points in we this was the second game we had this night, and there was points in the previous game where I was like, Oh, well, you you sure you can do it? No no no. Tournament practicing for the tournament. If I get it wrong, I've gotta be able to recover and I'm like, you know what? Fully respect that. Um that is like a really solid way to play. So, I, I know we've been talking about the bombers quite a lot, but being 
a type of ship I don't use a lot. And even when I do use bombers, they're usually like Y wings that have a turret and no bombs. Yeah. I feel they have the reload action, and I was like, Phil's being quite, I guess, cavalier with just throwing out bombs, but you can just get more. Yeah, I mean, you can um, just reload. Not all bombs can actually be um, reloaded, although the thermal deaths you can, and you recover one additional. So when you reload, you actually gain back two, um, which is, I should realize, I think it's the mines that you can't reload, but um, your bombs you can. Okay. Um, so it is quite nice to have that reload option there as well, in case you do decide you need to do it. And you've been a little bit cavalier with those bombs, some may say. Um, all I just try to cover my butt there, really. Well, it's what the bombs do. That's where they drop out from. Yeah. I, mean, I do find that using bombs is a little bit easier in second edition than it was in first, to be honest. Like, if... I think I think it's a fairer method, because first edition was you can drop them as an action after you move. Yeah. And like they gave so many options for whether you could put a bomb. That if you're going against a bomb list, you're you're just guessing. Well yeah. Or, or, you like realize, or was it the old stress spot thing that the Red Bulls had? To just go, no, you're just not doing an action, so you can't drop a bomb. Yeah, there was that. And I, I think there were... There's obviously a few options to drop bombs out of the system phase now, but they require either specific pilots or... Um, specific circumstances. Yeah, so, I mean, for instance, if you were to look at Genius uh, Astromech, when you fully execute Maneuver, you can drop a bomb. Um is one option there. Death fires ability. Um, page two. Gunner, page two, go. Gunner. Yeah. yeah, after you're destroyed, you can drop a bomb. Yeah. And death fire has the same. After you're destroyed, before you're removed, you may perform an attack and drop or launch one device. Yeah, I mean, the ones where you, you do it as you're dying, that seems fine. That's very thematic of like, oh, I'll take you down with me, sort of thing. Yeah, and that's the reason I actually quite like flying Deathfire in a list, because I just think that's kind of fun. So anything that's like fight on death is just it's something different that you don't that not many ships can do. So I always find it's it's a bit of a laugh having that, especially if you get yourself in the right position. Now coming up against Ben's lists, you see all these ships and they're all named and they're all high initiative. Obviously, Kylo is maybe a bit more scary because he has the Force, but you've got like Quick Draw here as well, who's notoriously difficult to deal with. What do you try and target first? Or do you just kind of go, I'll just take whatever shots I can? It's a little bit of whatever shots I can, but essentially, to start with, I'm avoiding Quick Draw because Quick Draw's double tack can just be absolutely brutal, especially against ships with no shields. Um, I think for me, really, it's... Although I'm pointing mainly towards Kylo at the moment, taking down Malaris and Lahus are who I'm really looking at first. Malaris is going to be a tricky one, because when he uses his ability, he basically gets a perma-focus, but he can only use that twice. So... Taking him down, that's a nice five points there. Um, and again, Lahus, a nice five points to take down. And he's not quite as scary as Midnight and Quick Draw to start with. Um, so they're where I'm kind of aiming for, really. Oh, interesting sharp turn from Kylo. I anticipate he probably wasn't expecting me to bring everything around that obstacle at the bottom there. I think a, maybe a boost would get him reasonably safe. Yeah, it looks like a boost would get him outside of the... I believe he's just got out of Tom Axe's arc there. It's not always easy to tell from this angle. We'll see what happens when we get to the shooting. Yeah. So 
So whilst you've got some good bombs off early, Ben has spread out his ships and is on a lot more of the objectives. Yeah, it's another classic thing that I tend to do is forget that objectives exist. So... It's a, you know, you're yeah. saying like, oh, I'll take out this ship and get five points, but if you wait three turns, well, I guess four, because you can't score in the first turn, but three turns of point scoring, you potentially let Ben gain a ship's worth of points. Yeah, I think what's tricky is Ben had his list nicely, nicely spread out with like Quick Draw and Midnight sat together, Malaris and Lahoos sat together, and then Kylo down the other side. So it was like, right, you've got to come at one of them. And with the objectives, it was like, it, it obviously it'd be much better for me to get get them. But yeah, it's just it's probably the one part of the play that I tend to see, I seem to struggle with for some reason. Ah, you'll get there. I mean, I understand yeah. the, the idea of like flying your ships together, focusing fire, especially against something as evadey as Kylo is. I mean, there are some games I do I do really well when it comes to objectives, but yeah, I mean, with the bombers, you, you kind of do want to fly them together, it's especially you want to get them like within range of Jonas for his ability, because he's he's sort of like. A big key. Because he if allows... you can get bombs consistently on objectives, then the opponent can't go near that objective safely to capture it. But yeah, it's just first order ships bearing down on you, especially midnight and quick draw. I'm still getting flashbacks to <laughs> yeah, no my Academy season four and just watching them annihilate pretty much everyone. So this is with the latest points? So this is with the most recent points update. So this is, um, yeah, the latest points. So obviously Midnight has gone up in points and lost a lot of loadout, but his loadout was... Quick draw can still take so many upgrades. Well, Special Forces Gunner is a zero point upgrade now. Oh, right, yeah. Because I, I remember seeing like her total points went down. I was like, oh, okay, that seems good. And then, yeah, Special Forces is now free, so that kind of just counteracts that. Which, which kind of makes sense because. I, I like that the kind of the staples for ships are free most of the time. Yeah. Yeah, and, and by staples, obviously, we mean the ones that are designed specifically for that. So yes, you're usually, looking at your yeah. Special Forces Gunner stuff, the one that can only be used by... The, the X-Wing S spoils, the yeah. titles. Yeah, I mean, the, almost they could say that Special Forces Gunner is a title, but I know the reason they've got it as a gunner, so that you can't take it with... You can't have, like, Special Forces Gunner and, say... Agile Gunner or something like that. I do that, feel like that there's, be... there's room to give First Order some different unique Gunners to fight for that spot, but Special Forces Gunner is so good. It, it is just such an efficient um, card for that. And it, again, in that situation, it works really well. But, I mean, yeah, there are some other um, options there. So, I mean, you've got uh, DT-798 um, at the start of the engagement phase. You may choose a friendly ship in your firing arc. If you do, that ship gains one strain token. Then while you perform an attack, you may reroll up to one die for each ship in the attack arc with one or more non-lock red or orange tokens. And that token. seems great. And then you look at Special Forces Gunner and you go, oh, wait, I'll take that. Yeah. So, yeah, pretty much it's like... Uh, it's an almost a no-brainer with this with that ship. So, I mean, Agile Gunner is kind of pointless on that chassis. So, yeah, a lot of the gunners do give abilities that the uh, the SF just can't do anyway. So, there's no yeah. point. And for me, I think sloop from Kylo. Nice. And for me, that's something which, when I look at 
a certain other ship that has a gunner and I go, why? And that's the Phantom who has a gunner slot, doesn't have a turret, and it's like the they only thing... They wouldn't get crew without being able to take Vader. Yeah, the only because thing you could use that gunner slot for. Launched and that was mean, the Garbage. <laughs> Yeah, and then they took it away two weeks before I went to a tournament and I've been practicing that list. It was not nice. So but I I, I get I get it. Um It's that weird thing of like when changes happen to the game and like what you were using suddenly becomes very expensive. Like, oh I was using something very strong. Or the inverse of that, which seems to happen a lot with mine, is like, oh I can fit a lot more in this list now. But, was I hindering myself by using what I had? What's, what's happening? Oh, I, I can fit three Falcons in my list with yeah. Ray. And it's like, I mean, that is still the, I think, the biggest surprise to me of the entire points change. Um, but other than, the, other than at first, I was surprised by this, by like some of the standard cards not getting a point shift. But again, I sort of reasoned that with myself of, they're probably at that point because of the scenario. Yeah. I mean, the, the triple Falcons for resistance, though, like, if you're flying anyone other than Ray, you want Ray Gunner on them. So you do miss out on that power. True. But speaking of power, Quick Draw is zooming into the middle of the board. Yeah. To uh, try and get some shots. I think she might just have one. Well, she's managed to get the lock there, um, which is really handy because if Quickdraw doesn't need to use her lock, I think Lahoos might already have a lock, but he can then use a friendly ship's lock on the defender. So, which is quite nice for Lahoos. So other ships can lock, and then he just goes, "All right, cheers, thanks, I'll borrow that." Checking for range from various things. Yep, quick draw into who is that at the front there? Is that Jonas? Uh, that is Tomax no, Bren. Tom. There's the fire control system. That's two with one going through. Always scary with like shieldless ships. But then again, yeah. that's what you get if you I... run most Empire ships. Yeah, at least at the start of the game with a lot of other lists like Ben's, you can go, well, if they roll a crit early, it doesn't matter. But you're looking at crits even at the start going, ooh, okay, that's that's worrying. Absolutely. And that was Tomax into Lahoos, getting a shield off there. But if you can't get those target locks, it makes it really tricky as well for these bombs because they've only got a two dice shot. Yeah, there's not much point having munitions if you can't shoot them. Which yeah. could mean combo is going to be a real pain for someone on your list. With that jab action, especially when the jabby or the jabber, sorry, picks what gets removed. Yeah, it's not like you can go, I'll, I'll just take a bunch of other tokens to kind of shield the target lock yeah. from being removed. So no, the, the target lock's gone. Oh. Yeah, they go, oh what what what's the most unfortunate thing for me to take right now? Yeah, I'll take that, please. Thank you. At least Redline can hold two target locks. Granted on different things, I would assume. Uh, yes. Uh let me just double check the wording. I don't think it specifies, but I think I think just in the... two locks, but I think you can only lock one thing once anyway. I think that's actually the rules reference if, itself. If one of those gets jammed away you might still have a shot on someone else with some munitions which is good yeah which would Looks be like ideal Pablo is also taking a shot at tom x a nice range three speculative and that is getting a damage through and that is a crit because oh. of kylo being horrible it's a damaged engine which is not nice so all of those hard moves are now red. Further making the bomber dial just that little bit worse. 
Yeah. So we got now. A Lahus into Tomax. Oh yeah, borrowing creatures lock, I think, there. Po possibly could have been his own, I'm not sure, but that's Tomax down to two. Ouch. Not going well yet. Crit token always good to going to survive. Uh well Yes, because we've just moved on from the I uh, from Ben's I five well from okay, all of Ben's so we're, shooting we're dungeons. Okay. Yeah. So checking for arc and range. Who are we going for? So we've got Tomax, looks like he's I think Tomax has already shot, but that was going into Lahoos, and that's all shields down on Lahoos. Okay. So that is good there. Uh, but point scoring, yeah, yeah, I didn't do very well. Uh, just out of range of that one with my bomber. You do uh, have, was... who's over there, Jonas and Reimer about to join the fray. Yeah, unfortunately Jonas is pointing down the board, but Reimer can then come back in. So I hopefully they can get a nice move in. Not gonna lie, at some points in this game, I wish they had a boost rather than a barrel roll, but we can't get everything we want. But whilst so they're getting you, those... you weren't choosing to drop any bombs there? Uh, not in a good position to drop bombs. If the only one that could have dropped a bomb that could have possibly had any effect was uh, Jonas. So I was I was thinking um, Tomax might curve his seismic charge and bar up that bit of debris. Knowing where some of my other ships are going to be, it would be too. I think it would cause too Risky. much damage to me. Fair enough. So, ideally, I'd like them. ships are moving around. Yes, so just want to remind you guys that if you do like what we're doing here at Art of Art Game, you can support us on Patreon. Uh, the link for that is in the description below. It gives you access to our Discord. We do post up little sneak peeks of what we've got coming up and what we've been working on. Um, and we just have a bit of discussion about what is coming up. We talk about Legion, we talk about X-Wing. We even have a Discord in there for some Shatterpoint, although we haven't had a chance to play it yet despite the local store keep trying to tempt me by every time I walk in whoever's behind the counter just starts pointing at it and I'm like well if you give me one then okay but at the moment I'm not spending the money on it I'm afraid um, but yeah and if you do go for our top level as well you can actually tell us what to fly so maybe you could teach us how to write a list that's better or you just want us to fly something really really stupid so if you do like the sound of that and like what we're doing, the link for our Patreon is in the description below. And you said you were a bit worried about Jonas not being able to really turn around and get into the fight, but he's facing the right way. Yeah, he is facing the right way, which is always, I think, a plus side. If the ship is facing the right way, you can't really complain on that. And I quite like the speedy move from Tomax. He's on low health, but by going so fast, you're either going to get past the enemy or at least force a bump, so they're only shooting at range zero. Yeah, I mean, if I can... It's one of those, if I can force a bump, awesome. If they end up behind me, I'll just drop a bomb. Like, that would be an ideal time to drop a seismic charge then, I think. So, I mean, don't get me wrong, it will be nice to have like a prox mine that I could nimble bomber to the right and potentially maybe catch Kylo if it was behind me. That would be pretty awesome. Oh. Unfortunate there from Redline. Did Redline take any damage from that though? Just waiting for the roll. No, he didn't. Well, that's okay. And, I mean, he's got shields. True, yes, he's the only one on your side that does. Yeah, I mean, we were having a bit of a discussion about the Punishers, um, and obviously, we agreed they look really cool, and they look really intimidating on the board, like, basically, like, the rock version of a bomber, in comparison. Um, 
But one thing, we, one thing both myself and Ben agreed is that they're just, for what they are, they are a lot of points. And yeah, and they need a lot of specific circumstances to really shine. And yeah. I'm not sure that happens consistently enough across games. And there's things that they're sort of missing as well. I think, I always think that Redline could come down. I either need, because they don't have talent slots. Seven does um, feel a lot. Seven feels like a lot. I mean, if Redline maybe had a talent, possibly you could maybe put an argument for seven points. But I, I think that seven points is a lot for it. Don't get me wrong. I love it. It's a great ship. Um, and even uh, Death Rain is six points and does have a cool ability after you drop or launch a device you may perform an action so if you were to drop two thermal debts you can do two actions um which is which is a quite an interesting one um but yeah they, it's a lot of points on that ship i mean for the same points you could take a decimator Right, yeah. When you compare it to other things at the same points level, it's like, well, now it's it's getting more difficult to really commit to the Punisher. Yeah, and I mean, you look at other things that sort of like same ship size range, and you look at the uh, Type Brute, and I'm just trying to find that, the Type Heavy, there we go. And you're looking at their four to five points and it's a very similar like, sort of stat line there so it, it's it's a bit of a tricky one to justify but you know what I was like oh, I want to fly one I mean oh, I, yeah, used, to, I used to fly very... two there's the uh, what was it the, the enhanced jamming suite getting rid of I assume a target lock. Yeah, it looks like a target lock there. Oh, quick draw. Right, yeah, because it's, it's not an Imperial tie. It can just go one. Yeah, the SF has a has a really nice dial, so um, we can do that. I don't have high hopes for Tomax surviving this round. He might be able to do it. I, no, if no. somehow... He survives midnight and quick draw. He will at least get a shot off. Yeah, and it's not like Ben doesn't have all the options. I mean, he's got quick draw range one, midnight range two, Kylo range one. Lahus's arc is in the back, so he can trigger the actual special forces. Kind yeah, of full of Tom X is Malarus. Yes, he frankly he... has his own. Yeah, I mean, he, he's, in, he's in a little bit of a sticky situation himself. I mean, so, we might be see. Trade here at Tom X for Malarus, but... No, you don't need to spend that. F you don't need to spend it. He spends it. Goodbye. Goodbye. Well, because I didn't want to die, so I'm just there like... Actually, I think if it. that was Midnight, that may have been Predator. And if it was Quick Draw, it might have just been Fire Control System. It's quick draw, it's fire control system. He spent the focus to guarantee it, because it would have been four hits to two evades. And I blanked out anyway. So, great start there. But, I mean, I wasn't really expecting Tom X Bren to actually survive that, to be honest. Like, no, if it, it would have been nice to at least get a bump. Yeah. Or even if I'd have survived quick draw, it would have been just a bit of a miracle and then made Midnight have to then waste his shot in and then Deathfire just goes in and goes you know what you're going to miss yeah that's yeah that's not the best is it and that was a red line whiffing on a range one on Malarus not ideal at all but Jonas also going for the Malarus I would assume and Malarus, oh, no. Malarus and Lahus will get to shoot first because I had initiative, so it's Ben's sixes, my fives, Ben's fives, the rest of my stuff. Right, yes, sorry. And that is one onto Jonas there, I believe. That's 
two shields onto red line. Hanging in there. Yeah. Does Rhymer also have a shot on Malaris? It looks like he does. Yeah, I believe Rhymer does catch Malaris, although his I think his target lock is on Malaris as well. I think they've all got their target locks there. And that's another blank out. My green dice are very cold at the moment. Jonas taking the crit, which is a loose stabilizer, right in front of an obstacle. Uh, yeah, and, then, and on only two health, you've got to take damage from at least one of them. So I guess I guess you take the initial damage by turning away. Well, it's a debris, so. You don't take a damage on a debris straight away, you have to roll for it, but you do get stress. I, th I still think I'd turn away first. Who's putting in some serious work? He just got a rear shot into death fire and got two hits with a damage sensor array. And Kylo debating whether he wants to be really spiteful of malice. Which he is going to Malice. I mean, Kylo hasn't really had to spend the Force so far, right? I think that's the first time we've seen that used. So, yeah. not. The uh, the lack of shields is definitely showing on your side, though, unfortunately. Well, I did get two of eight there, so I'll take that. Which is just hilarious. Like, Ben spends two Force to get some crits in, and then I just go, oh no, here's what my veins were hiding, they're just here. They're just ready, they're just force sensitive evades. They were in the other pod of the bomber. Yeah. Uh, so that's two hits from, I believe, Jonas, range one. Sends Spend a lot. Time lock it. Two hits. And some nice evades. Oh, okay. Right. None. Uh, and this is. Cluster missile, I believe. There. Oh, the, yeah. So there's a cluster missile. That's a double shot with a cluster missile because I got the. Yeah. She lined up perfectly. Unfortunately, Rhymer has proton rockets, so can't repeat the same trick, which would have been really nice. That is the nice thing that you've got on red line is you've got all of the ranges covered. Yeah. Whereas, yeah, someone like Rhymer, who's currently like, well, if you know the right range, I, I can't hit you as hard as I'd like to. And that more of a is just laughing everything off that I throw at them there, but Deathfire Deathfire is dancing with death by just going in at quick draw. So will we have a bonus shot off here? I mean, you might. I think if I was Ben and I end up with the choice of taking damage or not, I would take it. But there's kind of no tokens on Quick Draw, so just whatever the dice say, it's shield, and it's only one. Yes, which is worse than scoring nothing. In this scenario, definitely feels like it. Is that two and more? That's one, one oh. damage into death fire. Good job we're not playing half points because I would be in a very bad situation right now. Well, I mean, we look at the points going into turn six and it's uh, not looking great. No. Um, you, you've got a lot to do to come back from this. I, I, yeah. I mean, you can get some pretty nasty bombs off. Ben is much closer to you now. Yes. Uh and I have a seismic charge left, which is on Rhymer, who's not near an obstacle. <laughs> so uh, unless I decided to like zoom past and reload. I do like the seismic charges though. They are fairly unique in terms of how bombs work in the game, and they are a fairly reliable source of damage. Like there's not ooh, there's no rolling for them, right? It's just oh you're near it, you take damage. Uh, yeah, pretty much you just suffer a damage straight away. So yeah, they are, they're very consistent in that. And 
if you get them in a cluster of obstacles as well, you can sort of check and be like, right, which one's the best one to drop it on? Yeah, like if you had a seismic charge where Ben has his dial between those two clouds, it's like, okay, do I want to blow up that cloud or do I want to blow up that cloud? Exactly. And it, they are they are good fun. I do, like I said, seismic charges I am a big fan of. Um, yeah, yeah, the normal does give you more area to cover. Yeah. Um, but I mean, for me, I, I like thermal depths. I like seismic charges. Um, cluster mines are good fun as well. Connor nets are one that... Mines are interesting. Connor nets I haven't really seen a whole lot of. I think I've only used them like once or twice, but I did manage to drop a, a Connor onto a Han Solo Falcon and then just managed to keep it ionized and ionized it off a board. Oh nice. Because it was it was just in that position where like, it couldn't really do anything about it. Um it was quite nice and quite brutal. But yeah, I mean Connor I just also I like Connor just because I like the shape of the token. It's just like such an an odd shaped token. Yeah, it is is an interesting design on it. Um, and obviously Prox Mines, they're always good. Especially if you are in a position where you know, well, it's the coming into the turn and you're behind me. So I'm just going to drop it on you. Yeah, I would definitely recommend players who aren't used to devices starting off with mines and then moving to bombs. Just yeah. because the the detonation rules for them, I guess is probably the best way to word it, because mines blow up when they hit something. Whereas yeah. the bombs, you've kind of got to plan a bit more because they will go off that round, unless you have delayed fuses or some other ability. You, you've sort of got to... Yeah, you've got to double plan a bomb in a way, because it's like, right, when do I drop it? Can I get um, away from it myself? Yeah. And then will my opponent also be there or be in a position or will it make my opponent have to fly spend an action yeah spend an action to avoid yeah, that action. yeah if they barrel roll away from a bomb then they're not gonna have a focus which, which is good they are they're a great area denial tactic and that's again why I and delay fuses helps with that as well because it just makes your opponent go Oh, that's there for two turns. So that's that really nice route through that obstacle that oh, I, is it like, or... oh, I wonder if I can get over it quick enough. Yeah. And then someone just turns up with genius or something that is just really rude. Or you play a fully extended game and you use trajectory simulator and you just throw it in front of you. Yeah, that was... That was a weird upgrade. Oh, there's the jam. And I'm currently pleading with Ben. Can you jam something else? I want Redline to do something, please. But no, there's the uh, focus. No sure. range one pocket. Uh. Yeah. Jam is, a, jam is a really good and I think really powerful action. I like that it's on too many ships as like an, an extra thing. Like yes, the the jamming beam is a cannon that a lot of things can take, but most of the time that takes your main shot. And like, it's not free anymore. Think, I don't double think. tap, but yeah, it did go up and cost a little bit. Like the yeah. B wing can now double tap with it, which is useful. But when it's like a linked action, like here, that's probably the best use of it. Yeah, and I think you've got. Some, I don't think there's many ships that come with it stand. I know the epic ships do, but you've got other options like um, false transponder codes as well. Could be quite a nice one. Yeah, but that's only um, one from use. A lot of the, yeah. the jamming ships also tend to be like the support shuttle sort of things. Kylo yeah. is a fighter. Yeah, that combination is unusual. But it, it, it's just nasty. So it oh, really yeah. disrupts your your opponent's plan, as it has here. Because my plan was, I'm going to proton rocket Lahus at range one because 
that's a perfect opportunity. Yeah, it's like, oh, no, no, I'm not. Lawson just goes, no, I'm going to turn that yes. off. Which I know is supposed to be the jamming sweep, but I just like to think it's Kylo just using the force. When it's Kylo in there, it feels more like it. It feels right in my head. Yeah. Or wrong in Redline's head at the moment. But I do think this time is this great battle. Yeah, he's got a... Uh, Lahus in front and Kylo to the side. Not a good place. At least Malaris is facing the wrong way to get a shot. True, no rear shot coming out of Malaris. I'm, I'm still uh, kind of annoyed on your behalf that Malaris took no damage last turn, though. Yeah, but I mean, Lahus has just taken a damage there, so that's something. But the reprisal is the final shield on red line. He's now is just a big bomber. I mean, he's still got a lot of munitions. But yeah, he's, he's still got... Yeah, he's never going to get to yeah. fire. We need to get away. Well, it's also quite a tight little cluster of ships there as well. So I'm stressed with no way of the getting rid of that stress. Yeah. And with so many ships in front of him, it might prove tricky to get an action. Yeah, the Punisher doesn't have a good dial there, because obviously Lahus is... It's a 50-50 as to whether he's still going to be there or not, whoever gets rowed. And... We will see that's a mallet. Is that malice there from... Oh, it's hit, crit, crit. It's a structural damage and a panic pipe. So I'm not getting rid of that stress anyway. So I'll just keep those. So yeah, that's that's basically Redline out of the game essentially now. He has no evades. And, and Kyo, Kyo with Malice against ships that have no shields is just so in Ben's favour. Oh yeah, it is absolutely incredible. And the fact that he also has a talent, so... You could be super brutal and stick marksmanship on there as well instead of Predator. Yeah. And then you're just like, well, I can... I think, I can... I think the Predator works better. Like, with yeah. marksmanship, you're kind of doubling down on trying to get crits, whereas the Predator lets you maybe gain a hit, which you can then malice to a crit. Yeah. And especially with... Um, is it Salvage scenario where you yes. want to be landing at least a crit on a target you only need one it is really yeah anything that can sort of like make reliable crits is going to be really handy in salvage and end of that round it's it's not looking good i've got a lot of work to do five points to 15 in ben's favor with a very expensive ship hurting quite a lot and uh not that much damage on the other side unfortunately been tough to get consistent shots on this first order list yeah the bombers uh, part of me wants to say they want to get close for the bombs and another part of me says they want to get far away for the munitions whereas ben's list can kind of be wherever. Ben's list just needs to be pointing in the right direction and yeah. we'll be happy with it. But we do have a seismic charge there from oh. Rhymer. Is that close enough? It looks like it's close enough to get the gas cloud, but not close enough for the, not the debris. Debris. But the Yeah, the, the cloud is we'll see about it. Yeah, I'm trying to work out if that was the... Looking at it from here, depending on where everything goes, whether that was the right call. I mean, I think at this point, give it a go, even if it's not going to work, really. Yeah. I don't feel like Rhymer's going to get many other options to drop it. No. And, I mean, he's, he's used his munitions, so... That's always a good thing. If you can use your munitions and stuff and just get them actually into play... You can't yeah. really complain on that. We um, have a focus on Rhymer. He might have 
he might be able to proc it something. Fingers crossed, I want to use some prockets. I mean, if you do get a procket off, you've got a good chance of taking out, you know, either Midnight, Malarus, or Lahus if you have the shot on them. Obviously, Malarus yeah. is nowhere near him, but. Yeah. Midnight, he might have a shot. Yeah. Then you're probably not the pros and rockets. And Qu Quick Draw is not likely to be able to. Unless Quick Draw is really getting away from the fight, it's going to be a, it's going to be a tight spot there because. Well, see, Kylo is Three still to move. Just going reasonably slow, doing a blue maneuver, staying close enough to that objective to at least contest it and yeah. then turning up next time. Or is. Oh no, Quick Draw's already facing inwards, sorry. No, Quick Draw's already facing in, so. It's going to be. Um, yeah, that's a nice sloop there from Redline. Not Redline. I was looking at the wrong side. From Lahus, sorry. I was looking at Redline stats and yeah, nice yeah. sloop there from Lahus. Obviously, looking to use the pattern analyzer, which we had a bit of a debate, and I, I wanted to see how you feel of this. So, pattern analyzer says that you can do. Um, before the check, let me get it up so I can read it. So, while you fully execute a red maneuver, before the check difficulty step, you may perform one action. Yes. Now, the question we were having at the table does that preclude you from linking an action? Because that's two actions. I believe it has to just be the one action. And that's how we actually called it at the table because we were like, I, I was, I was really like, because it says perform it's, one action. Yeah. So, uh, I use laser a lot on nine num in resistance, but I never, I don't think I ever try and link an action. Yeah. So, yeah, because uh, Ben ideally wanted to rotate and he has just rotated it, and then I had to remind him that strangely, it can link to rotate with everything, but it can't actually rotate normally. Right, but because so because he couldn't do the first bit, he yeah, okay, fair enough. So he's gonna have to do something else. But he can get that focus anyway because of proud tradition. So because the proud tradition is just a really good card. So while he had two or few stress takers, you may perform a focus action even while stressed. And that does work. Um, so you can pattern analyzer and then. Yeah, that's a strong combination. On that. Very strong combination. So. Sorry, proud tradition is you gain a focus or you can do a focus action. So while you have two or fewer stress tokens, you may perform a focus action even while stressed. Okay, so it is an action. So you can't yeah. pass out those at a focus and go, Proud Tradition, I've got another focus. Okay. That's... No, you can't, you can't double focus because that would just be crazy. Uh, and this is where a really, 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 really spiky Tie Whisper with such a long model is just a bit crazy on a small base. Partly why they did the smaller versions of the silencer as well, because the uh, original silencers were just completely out of size, but also so cool. Yeah, I mean that that happens when you're trying to get the product out in time for the film. Yeah, but I, I got two of them, and I love it. And I kind of wish I had a third, but I'd want a big one unless I was running like a really low-level pilot for the small one. Right, it's like the the important part is get the bigger version of it. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. Oh, yeah, quick draws. Just... There's that quick draw bump. Not bad. So there's a lot of shots going around. So that hopefully should be so much hatching. stress. Hatching. Yeah, I, th I think I've got a few stress tokens left off the board at this point. But uh, yeah. Or oh, you bond yourself. Yeah, only caught red line. Ah, uh, 
Do you know, I wasn't really convinced it was going to hit the cloud, but yeah, that's unfortunate. But effective munition doing damage, so I will take that, even if it is my own damage. Um, so. I'm not sure I agree with that statement. <laughs> At least not when it's redline. If you manage to like bomb your own quick draw to take off a shield and get a free shot, then sure, I'll, I'll maybe agree with it. I mean, I've seen combos where people have done stuff like that, where they've deliberately done something knowing it's going to cause them damage, but it actually works. I think sometimes the opponent pulls it off and then they lose a shield later on anyway, and they still had a good shot after that, so they've... They've done a cool combo, but unnecessarily. Oh, there's a console fire on red line there. Uh, uh, and one health. One health. Could be it, but is this another shot into red line? It is another shot into red line. Night, night, red line. I mean, line. he's That's seven points. Down. He's got to be the target of the bend. That puts him at 22 points. 22 points, yeah. And it's a shot that, it's another shot that he's not going to have to face. So. He's fire. I mean, it's good targeting from Ben. Yeah, good good target priority. I mean, he, he nailed Tomic's friend down, he's nailed Redline down, he's got Jonas down to two. Um, only one thing that can shoot Jonas, Kylo, I don't believe, has a shot. Does he like flying Kylo because Kylo is also called Ben? Or is that just a, a weird coincidence? I think it's just a happy coincidence. Oh. I, think, I think he just likes Kylo Ren because... He likes First Order, and he's one of the more offensive yeah, yeah, ships in the game. Like, first Order, you think of Kylo Ren. Yeah. But if you're not using Kylo Ren, you, you pro there's probably a reason for that. You're using something equally as disgusting. Or you should be, at least. I mean, he's picked he, four he's of like, the most he's like, disgusting ships in the game. Yeah. First Order is like, if Kylo Ren's not there, everyone else should be asking, where's Kylo? Oh, that's unfortunate. Jonas is down. Is Ben going for a high score? Uh, I think so. I think he's going to see... I mean, 26. He, don't, he getting, hasn't got any more shots left. He's getting some objective points, though. He's getting at least one. He might get two. Right? Oh, no. Mm, I think he's so, a... definitely, definitely quick draw, scoring that one. The top one is probably contested. Yeah, the and middle that one, one is on the contested. Left. The left one, yeah, left is one. Yeah, it might just be quick draws. But we have a proton rocket. Hey, it fired. It's only three hits, so it's not uh, great. And it's into quick draw. Oh, um, you another shot. Got all shields down on quick draws, so it's the last chance she'll get to use it, which is perfectly fine for her. And. I mean, fortunately, Rhymer is got four health, so it's probably going to survive. Maybe I mean, could be some nasty crits, though. Oh yeah, yeah true. Yeah. See, that looks like two blanks to me. I can't tell if there's any crits in there, though. No. Again, unfortunately, no dice cam for this one. I um, I forgot the bracket nice. for the dice cam. Um, Stand. Oh, there's there's something going on. What's that? Is that an ability or what's what's Rhymer's thing? So Rhymer is uh, while you perform a missile or torpedo attack, you may increase or decrease the range requirement by one to a limit of zero to three. What are you looking at at the moment? Or is this a shot into death fire? Oh, it is into death fire. What was oh, death? See, death death fire can shoot now. So it's a case of do I spend the, do I spend the focus to keep him alive, or do I just try and get another, or do I keep the focus for the shot? Oh, I see. So death fire is is dead. Uh no, he doesn't appear to be. I'm I'm, I'm a little bit confused. Now. Death fire is not dead, but death fire just did just take a damage. and did nothing really in reprisal. So Deathfire did actually spend his focus to survive to limit the points. Um, not that that really made much difference at all. Um, 
Or was it a case of quick draw got the bonus shot and then it was just Deathfire's turn? Uh, quick draw actually used the bonus shot against Deathfire. But in the end, points wise, it was 27 points. I think it's probably oh, the highest we've had on channel. Uh, yeah, very close. 27 to 5. And just so, beat me. <laughs> yeah, just yeah. beat me. It, it, it was a tough very, game for him. I made him work for it. Very aggressively, very spread out. He played the objectives. He saved yeah. the bombs. He denied you your munitions. He kind of just denied you your abilities, really. He did everything that his list wanted to do. He, yeah. He used. He used. I mean, the only thing he didn't use on there was the concussion missile on Kylo Ren, but he used every other ship's ability to perfection. Again, not taken away from Ben, my list isn't a competitive list. It was a, I want to run Bombers and a Punisher, but he still did really well to counteract what I was bringing to the table. So a great list that he's there, running there. Um, Obviously, by the time this goes live, I'll know how he did at the Welsh Open, but we are recording this before he goes. So, for now, we'll say good luck to Ben, and congratulations, Ben, on how well you did for after. Um, yep. But yeah, it was, a, it was a wicked list. It looks great as well. Like, it's, it's got a whole black and red theme on it. It looks intimidating, and it, it, it is intimidating. I can tell you that from personal experience. Um, but yeah, good game, Ben and James. I hope you enjoyed that. And maybe for your tournament you've got coming up at the end of next month, it will give you a few pointers of what to avoid, like first order lists. Yeah. Um, uh, don't don't let them shoot you. I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, stand so yeah, and it's, it's a very interesting game to watch. Yeah. Not, well, cheers. Not, not used yeah. to bombs, so seeing bombers is always a treat. And you're, you're likely to see them more now, actually. Um, keep an eye out for Jonas and Rhymer, possibly Tom Axbrand. They're the ones you're going to see, so keep okay. an eye out for them because they're a good combination. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining us, buddy. And, um, you're welcome. Guys, again, thank you so much for watching. Uh, we do have some more content coming out in the next couple of weeks. We've got the rebel and scum faction breakdowns dropping in the next two weeks so hopefully you'll enjoy those in the meantime again thank you very much for watching and we will see you next time